Hello everyone, Dr. Beth here and welcome to another episode of The More You Know Memory. So this week we're going to talk about how endurance training or cardio helps to mitigate memory loss. Um, an aerobic exercise is such a great way for maintaining brain health simply because it increases blood flow up to the brain. So as you get your heart rate up, as you get huffing and puffing, that heart is pumping blood up to your brain. And that increased circulation to your brain helps bring in all those great nutrients to help maintain healthy brain cells. It also helps to remove waste products away from our cells to prevent further damage. Uh, on the flip side, what the studies have shown is that you have, if you have prolonged periods of sitting and kind of sitting all day long, that you're not getting good blood flow to the brain, meaning you're not getting nutrients to those cells. You're sitting in waste products, which are going to cause further deterioration, and you're more likely to develop Alzheimer's. So that's why they kind of say sitting is the new smoking. Uh, so get up and move at least a couple of times a day, breaking up long periods of sitting. Intense exercise in particular also is very exciting because it is considered to be neuroprotective to the brain. So what does that mean? It means when we do intense exercise, changes happen within the brain, not just the circulation, but other things as well that help protect those cells. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit nerdy, but in particular, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, so BDNF, is uh, produced at a higher rate with intense exercise. And BDNF is so exciting because it supports the growth and the survival of our nerve cells, which make up our brain. And it's important for learning and memory, which are two of the big things that we really get concerned about with dementias and Alzheimer's. Intense exercise also helps us break down and remove old cells. So think of it as a garbage disposal. And instead of having a sink fill up with all of that junk, intense exercise helps us turn on that garbage disposal and push all of that waste out of our brain, helping to maintain a healthy environment. Now, research will tell us that exercise in midlife is very predictive of whether you will develop dementias or not. So if you are highly active during your midlife years, so let's say 40 to 60, you are less likely to develop dementias as you age. Now, if you are a couch potato in your 40s to 60s, your risk does get higher. And most people watching this are probably 60s and beyond. So the question I often get is, well, is it too late for me then? And the answer is no. So the research tells us that it's never too late to get started participating in high intensity uh, aerobic training, so endurance exercises, and you can still see the benefits um, of having improved brain health. Even if you've already developed some symptoms, if you have what's known as mild cognitive impairment or you have a mild dementia, exercise can still help slow down and potentially even reverse the progression. Um, the key is to get started as soon as possible. And if you're nervous or you don't know how to get started on a high intensity exercise program, we are here to help.